thesmartlocal.com. Hello! What was your first job? Okay, my very first job was a retail assistant at a, at a boutique at Tampanese Mall. Basic things lah, you know, folding clothes lah. My first job was working at a toy store. A kid's toy store. <laughs> Not for adults. <laughs> okay. Mm, waitressing at Aston's at Cathay Outlet. How was it? I lost weight <laughs> because we stood the whole day and then it was quite interesting because we got to mix with all kinds of people from everywhere. What does your parents currently work with? So my dad, he's an engineer and my mum, she is semi-retiree but she used to run her own business. My mum is a secretary. My dad, he is self-employed. He's working as a hawker for the longest time. Today we're going to challenge you to attempt old jobs your parents had in the past. Ooh, I did a pre-interview with him already and here's what we found out. <gasps> okay, but what are some jobs you did last time? My full-time job is the studio cameraman. Wow. Part-time insurance agent, car salesman, and help out in the provision shop. You never tell me before this? No, no. Okay, la, how about I try Thai fan because I know how to cook. No, it's very tough. It's very, very tough. Very tough? I think it's not one-day job. Le. You are the boss, you are the accountant, you are the purchasing officer. For fun, one day is okay, but I don't think you can manage. Uh, question is, uh, what are some jobs that you did in the past and which one of them are your favourite? One is delivery mm. job, uh, production operator. Okay. So, I guess the favourite one is the uh, delivery. Lah. Okay. Uh, because that was the first job, I believe. Is this a public relation office. So I report in the morning and then uh, I will collect all those marks, marks that to be delivered on that day. Wow, that one is tougher huh? because a long time ago, two or three dollars an hour. Okay, very little. Okay, okay. okay. Hello, Mamai. Yep. Last time when you were younger, right, what kind of part-time jobs you do before? Waitress when I'm much older, about 17 years old that time. Yeah, for people's wedding dinner. Mm. Plot talking. Plot talking. Today, my mission is to try one of the jobs that you did in the past. So I think I can plug Taoge. How do you think I'll do? I think less than 15 minutes you give up. <laughs> you all sit at a chair or you all sit on the Cor floor? Door la. Cor Corridor. Corridor. I think I'll do quite well actually. La. Famous last words. <laughs> So I'm at Daiso now and I'm going to first get the bags that's going to hold all the goodies for them and then after that I'm just going to find like some knickknacks la, some snacks whatever like my heart catches uh, fancy la okay I don't care about them I just want to get things that I think they would like so let's start yes I'm going to buy a mug first okay I think these two are fine one two um it's a dish it's a cute little dish but this color so ugly okay. This colour I think nice. This is very ageless colour scheme. Two pieces for two dollars. That's a steal we love. Gummies, gummies, gummies. Okay, this one is like nice. Oh, best recommendation. Okay, one each. Okay, it has to fit in the lip lip. Okay, I'm done. I don't have uh, enough space, I'll just put in my own bag. And then I bring home, right? I'm sure like last time got extra, they just keep for themselves. Wait, no? Say your father steal from. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to the wet market to find some tauge. My mom didn't specify how much tauge she plucks because she plucks them for stalls to sell. So it should be like a huge mountain. Okay, this looks promising. Hello. I'm going to cut my queue. Two kilo, two kilo. Two kilo? Give me two kilo. More? Ah. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm a bit scared. Leh. Until I'll be here until tomorrow. Eh. Kilo. Like that, one kilo? Ah. Yeah. Okay, three kilo. I need to go back and uh, pa my tauge. Uh. Helper or not? Oh, no, no, no. Bo, helper. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you pa until you want to sleep? Ah, no, pa until you want to sleep. Oh. 以前我妈妈是做这种的。谢谢。Thank you, ah. Oh, oh. It's quite heavy. 
I'm extremely concerned. So we're in front of the nearest supermarket to our office. I already planned for four dishes. We have steamed fish, sausage and potatoes, egg tofu vegetables, and last but not least, curry chicken. I have my bag here, my list of ingredients. Let's go shopping! We're gonna get the vegetables first. My dad charged damn cheap, I know. He charged from 220 eh, to 280. Spring onions too. Ah, oh, stress, stress. Ah, this one, this one. Cod fish, cod fish, damn nice, but damn eggs. We get dory fish. No choice ah. Thai fat cannot too expensive, nobody buy. So we got all the ingredients already. We're gonna pay and head back to the office to prep. I'm tired already, thinking about all the prep work, okay? I am back from buying all the things for the care packages and now I'm going to pack it in and after that I'm going to deliver them. I'm very excited. Let's go. Huh, what suits Adria? What suits Brenda? I think I think Brenda is more of a pink vibe. So I'll give Brenda this and this is more of an Adria vibe. Can you see how everything fits so beautifully perfect in that? Ta-da! The cat packages are ready! This one is mine! <laughs> yeah. Then you never help out at the cat bus store before. Oh my god, Tay very touching eh. Because when we were younger, of course we have friends in the hawker centre and then they all help out at their parents' store. But my father, he, he will get angry if we hang out at the hawker store. He'll say, no, you go home and study. Because he said he wants us to have an education. Aww. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm sitting here, it's because my mum said she sat in a corridor. So I'm thinking that this is a corridor right here in TSL. <laughs> Hey, later you help me. One down. <laughs> Twenty thousand to go. As a special surprise for Miss Brenda Tan, uh, she is a very big fan of Mr. Glenn Yong. Every time he posts a TikTok, she will send it to me, and I will like note it. So as a surprise, right? Why not? We make Glenn Yong go over to her house and do the delivery. And by Glenn Yong, I mean me wearing a mask of Glenn Yong. Mm. Oh. Yes? Help me, Your palm is like very good. Uh. You do? Okay, actually, I don't know. Yeah, don't eat dog. Okay. Uh, how long you do this already? Uh? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Uh? I think uh, it will take you about one, two weeks. Uh. Just tell you, tell you what you will bring something back. Uh. Okay. Disgusting man. Has anybody made juice out of tau gay before? You're losing your mind, is it? <laughs> so I rented a car. Uh, and I am now on the way to Adria's house and basically right, I don't even have my paper with me I'm just going off memory on how to get to her house So are you confident? In finding a location? Yes I'm very confident in finding a location, what do you mean? No. So I need to go to AYE, CTE From CTE And then the next turn I turn right, should be correct I'm just scared. What if like the food is not up to people's standard? Oh shucks! I already used the wrong pedal for the rice. <laughs> mm. Hello, hello, Selty. Hey, today is my first day of opening. Are you hungry? Very hungry actually. Okay. I never eat lunch. Eh? Very good because the hungrier you are, the tastier the food will be, right? What what kind of dishes you want? I want all. All. Die. How to count? <laughs> okay, your egg tofu with veggies. Big fish, okay, I'll give you a very big one. Ah, this one very big. Hey, Saka Saka, hello! Lianke. Lianke Chai. Sorry, a boy. Only got one Chai today. This one, this one. Wait, wait. Two meat is what? Ah? Two meat, 280. A ah, boy, help me see a bit. Is it correct? <laughs> Alright, we're almost at. Now, I need to try to remember whether I'm going to the left or to the right. I think it's the right side. I'm right! Yes! 
Okay, so I'm at uh, Idris' house and not only am I delivering a care package, I'm also giving her a delivery which was left outside. Lah. Ding dong! Hi! Hello, Miss Adria. Uh, Hi. Not only do you have your own, your, your own personal oh. delivery <laughs> which you have left outside here, I give you. Uh, and also, your personally curated care package. Wow. Come, wow. come, come. Would you like to open and see what's inside? Sure. Wow! I like this one! Yes, very good! I guess correctly, I guess correctly. No, this is my favourite. Oh. This one I like also. Oh my god! Right. Yeah. This is my favorite color. No, my god, this is exactly what I said. This is the color that is your vibe. Hope you enjoy your care package. It's from TSL to you. <laughs> you're very sweet, eh? Yeah, congratulations, you're very lucky. I have engaged my team to uh, help with the Taoge. Just like what my mother would have done with her neighbors. So this is the fruits of the taugays of our labour. At this point, I'm just autopiloting really. It's been like almost two hours. Okay, uh, hello Mei Ni, eat the powder. Uh, I want to eat the uh, fun. Uh, fun. Okay, 280, 280. <laughs> <laughs> can you help me see the menu, how much? Uh? <laughs> wow. Huh? Wait, I'm uh. <laughs> uh, hungry, go next door. <laughs> Sauce. Sauce only. Okay, sauce free. On rice? Yes. Okay. Okay, I think um, the dinner crowd has passed and I can finally take a breather. <sighs> Even though it was just like what a handful of people, it's actually quite scary because you have to do everything on your own. So kudos to my dad. Thank you for working hard for our family for so many years. <laughs> so I am at Brenda's house now and I'm going to surprise her with this. Hello, is this uh, a Miss Tan's uh, residence? Oh my god, help me! <laughs> oh, hello, hello, it's Glenn Young. He really got thing, I don't get it. It's fine. Why are you here actually? <laughs> I'm offering you a care package. Ah. Sponsored by the TSL company. Alright, I personally curated this package for you. <laughs> Would you like to put this in your room later? Yeah. This is very weird. Eh? <laughs> Alright, the rest you can have a look. Oh my god! Just goodies and stuff. Firstly, uh, I love this. <gasps> I got distracted by something else. What else? It's my favourite chocolate. I knew it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, have a great time. Um, hey. Make sure you find a great place for this picture. Huh? It's really for you. I'm not even kidding thank you. Thank you so much eh. Yeah. I will pack some for my mum. A lovely gift for her. So <laughs> I'm very tired. I cannot think anymore. <laughs> to all of you who go to the hawker centre and then you order something. If you don't want tauge, you just tell the uncle. Uncle will pay a tauge. Don't order already, huh? then you pick up all the tauge. Huh? This is uncle's effort. Eh. To my lovely Fika, who uh, helped me. Stand up, Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I think you'll feel my back. <laughs> I think it's pretty insane that my dad has been doing this for so long. Like the same job. The same thing over and over again for the past, what, 20 years? So do you think it was worth the pay? Wow! In today's context, I think 250 an hour is way too little for that much effort. But I guess we live in a very different time lah. Maybe when my dad did his job when he was probably in the uh, in the 60s, in the early 70s, around there, um, things were very different and obviously at 2.50 an hour meant a lot to them. Yeah, I guess it goes to show how, how, how much we've grown and how we should appreciate the little things in life. Then do you think you learned anything from this experience? 
One thing that was quite common back then but not as common now is the kampung spirit. My mom said that you know they were all gather together and like plat tauge together and neighbors don't ask for any money back. It's just like a way to spend time together and be productive at the same time. I tried to emulate that kampung spirit with my dear friends. For us now, we're actually very blessed to have like a variety of things we can do. We can chase our passions. But I think for my dad's generation, I think he started being a hawker because it was paying well back then. So it's not because he wants to chase his dreams or like do something new. No, it's more to like feed the family kind. Eh. This is such a good exercise. Go and ask your parents like what they did uh, for a part-time job or a job when they were younger. Because to be honest, right, before I even asked my dad about it, I had zero idea what he did. Ask them about it. It's quite interesting to find out their perspective about life. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Generation Gift. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Close shop. Close shop. <laughs>